Welcome back. Are you a sci-fi fan? Then the Carnegie Science Center is the place to be this Saturday for a galactic celebration of three of the most popular science fiction fandoms. It's called Doctor Trek Wars, as in Doctor Who, Star Trek, and Star Wars. Here to tell us about all the activities planned for families, and then a special late night version for adults only, are Mike Hennessy, Soma Chatterjee, and Matt Needles. Good morning. Good morning. So we have Doctor Doctor Who. Mm -hmm. Star Trek. Star Trek. Star Wars. See the outfits here? <laughs> See how they coordinated? I love how you did this. So this is really, this is one event broken into two, kind of, because we wanted to be mm -hmm. kind to the families and also invite for a 21 plus night. Right. So we thought science fiction is such a great way to inspire real science and science learning. So we have our family friendly event during the day. Um, we'll have makeup artists and hands on activities throughout the building. We invite folks to come in costume to celebrate these three great franchises. Uh, we have a brand new show in the Buell Planetarium called Star Wars Over the Federation. Uh, so it's exploring the night sky and the future of Star Trek and kind of celebrating how it's imagined our future. Uh, we're doing some fun activities in our Highmark Sportsworks uh, where you cool. can and uh, do our zip line and, and ride the zip line and, and uh, reenact destroying the Death Star from Star Wars. <laughs> it should be a lot of fun. <laughs> That's uh, awesome. And we have special movies showing in the Rango's Giant Cinema. So we're showing Doctor Who and the Daleks, uh, Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan, which is my favorite, uh, remastered in 4K, and Star Wars The Force Awakens in 3D, and those will be showing throughout the day. And you guys are going to show us some of the fun things that are planned for during the day and at night, and at night you're just going to add a bar. So Absolutely. Right. Why not have a drink while you're enjoying some of this stuff? Um, so in, in honor of Doctor Who, what did you bring yeah. with you? Um, for the Doctor Who fans, uh, today we brought a 3D printed TARDIS. Uh, and what is a TARDIS for people like me who don't know? Time traveling police box. Okay, cool. And you'll also get to see a life-size version at the Science Center. Plus our theater space, the work theater space, is going to be transformed into the inside of um, a TARDIS. So you guys actually printed this at the yeah, Science Center, right? Yeah, so uh, today I'm talking a little bit about the 3D printing that we do on site. Um, this model took four and a half hours to build and for those who uh, don't really know what 3D printing is or how it happens, uh, this is kind of how it's been built uh, you can kind of see the honeycomb inside. Yeah. Yeah. It's really neat. Mm -hmm. Took there a long time. Some, yeah, like four and a half hours. So it's layers of one um, single uh, line of plastic that layers up until it's the model's finished. Very neat. Very yeah. neat. And in honor of Star Trek, what did you <laughs> bring? Yeah, so we brought along uh, some fun uh, music. That's actually a little music for Doctor Who <laughs> to celebrate. Um, but we brought along something here today called a Makey Makey. Um, we'll go ahead and stop the music there. And uh, if you want to come on around, you can actually sure. engage okay, with this. This is uh, some Starfleet tech that we brought along with us today. Coming this around. is a way of... Uh, <laughs> Just this is a lot of fun here. because okay. we took the guts of the computer and we okay. brought it outside. Um, so with uh, this is a what circuit the inside board. Of a computer looks like. Well, yeah, this is a little circuit board that's going to emulate um, our keyboard and our our trackpad. Okay. Um, and we've got uh, some things that conduct electricity here, like, like bananas. Bananas. I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> and even some fun little Star Trek uh, communicator badges. All right. So how do um, I do this? So what you're going to do is uh, grab this alligator clip. It's conductive. It's metal. Okay. Uh, so electricity flows through it, and electricity flows through us. It throws through bananas too. Um, so what I'm going to have you do is actually tap a banana. Okay. And uh, go ahead and actually hold on to this with oh, one I'm finger. Yeah, it hold on to the metal part. Yeah, so I wasn't sure. And okay. then take and your other finger head. and you can tap the banana. Okay. Yeah. So hold this. Hold that and, and let's see if we can. Oh, cool. And I'll tap it yeah. Once. Yeah, you can tap. Yeah, it go ahead once. and just tap it once. And there's our music going. Because you create a closed yeah. circuit, yeah. Wow. Now fans will know that's the theme to Doctor Who. Okay. Now what if I touch these little the gold stars here? So if you touch the little gold stars... Am I going to get electrocuted? We should get uh, some other sounds. We got a little Star Wars music playing. Live long and prosper. That's Mr. Live Spock telling you prosper. to live long and prosper. A little red alert. <laughs> oh. Firing phasers, yeah. A little pew pew. <laughs> a little pew pew. Okay, let me come back over here and talk to you. Sure, so. Just walking around here. And so, what do you have for Star Wars? So, with Star Wars, probably one of the most iconic bits of it is the lightsaber. Sure. Uh, and we, lightsabers, we uh, just like light, come in the three primary colors red, blue, 
and green. Uh, so take your pick. You'll take one of those. Blue. Blue. Okay. okay. Uh, and there's a little switch. So these are lightsabers that we made just from little finger lights. Uh, we sell them in the Explore Store at the Science Center. They come in different colors. But if we shine them on this white board here and shine all three on the same spot, we can actually get those three colors of light to combine and make white light. So when we combine red, blue, and green, uh, they all add together. Okay, let's to try that one more time. Sure. So we can show our viewers, oh, look at that. And so what's actually going on here? So with this, the wavelengths of the light, uh, they're kind of adding together and canceling each other out uh, so that they're able to get back to the white light. Uh, and now are we going to fight? We can. Uh, that's why the big ones oh, are Oh, okay. Here. We don't use the little guys. <laughs> and um, i got to find out about your suit. Where do you purchase something uh, like the this? The Internet's a magical place. <laughs> it really is. i got to tell Ron Smiley about this one. <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. And what time does it start on Saturday? Uh, we open at 10. Uh, yep. And we'll have activities for the family from 10 to 5, and then 21 plus night from 7 until 11 in the evening. That's great. And we think it's going to be a blast for hardcore fans and even newcomers who just come and celebrate real science and science fiction and, and the relationship between them. So Very cool. Thanks so much, guys, for coming on today. And uh, we just want to tell you that you can come to the Carnegie Science Center, as you heard, this Saturday for a day full of fun, as you heard, of sci-fi. It's free with general admission for the whole family from 10 until 5. And then, as you heard, from uh, at night, it's from 7 until 11. You can get all the details. We'll have them at kdka.com slash PTL.